Oh, Sinister. Sinister. Neither of them banned Sinister, and Sinister was the one I didn't come up with. That's what it was. Okay. okay. Alright, and here we are. Three, two, one. We'll start off Mars versus Caper. Rematch. Grudge match. When do I get to play Hectic? Hey! <laughs> hey, make it happen. Ten seconds in, and Caper's already taken a lot of rocket damage from uh, Mars. He's down to about 100. Um, Mars in excellent position. Still got a lot of that Mega left. Steel Armor will go to Caper, which will console him a fair amount. Needs that Rocket Launcher. Uh, but eats a couple big rockets from Mars. Mars has no shaft! Caper capitalizes. He uh, opts not to get that up, uh, lower yellow. He's going to instead take the red. 100-100. Mega's not up for 10 seconds, so... Mars may be able to do something uh, to him, but again, a rocket engagement that does not favor uh, Mars at all. And Caper should be able to clean the... No, he won't be able to. Mars will get away, get a yellow, play on the back foot for a little while. We'll see what he does. Lightning gun ammo for Caper. More lightning gun ammo. All right. That yellow armor is still up. I think it's been up for a while now. Red armor went over to Mars, though, so he's got something to play with. He'll have the LG. I don't think he has rockets. Let's check out. No, he does have rockets. All right. So he's got both big guns. He's in a good spot. Does he know when the upper yellow is? He should. He was the last one to take it. But he's coming out in the middle. Again, jumping forward into the lava. No. Caper is able to uh, get on that ledge and walk forward. Mars has no shaft. No, indeed. Clip that, somebody. And I'd say Caper winning the LG fight from down below. Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Anyway, I uh, couldn't resist. Mars still with a lot of armor, and Caper, he's not impatient. He's not going through that choke point while Mars is raining down rockets on him. He does not have a great need to go there in that case. No ambush set up here, really. Just a little bit of spam. Mars caught out in the open, and this time he has the LG out. Caper is out of ammo, and that rocket, very clutch. Hit him directly. Uh, just wrecked him, but the machine gun could be deadly. Not anymore with this uh, red armor. It would take 40... Well, no, it wouldn't take that many bullets. It would take 25 plus... It would take 46... Actually, that does work out to be 46. That's interesting. Plus on the map. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it, it's useful at times. Apparently, salt plus sugar equals cookies. That's interesting, I guess. I'm not much of a cook myself. I just eat meat. So, 100-100 for Caper, 200-0 for Mars, although that's changed with the addition of a red armor and the subtraction of some of that armor and the mega health. Things are not looking too bad for either player, but the two-point lead is big for Caper. This is a map where you can really play the lead quite a bit. Goes for the rocket jump, beefs it like crazy. But the mega will make him feel a little bit better about himself. His bruised ego is now not quite so uh, beaten up. He's going to go over to the top yellow, no doubt. Grabs that LG crate again. Things are looking not too shabby. Um. Yeah. Oh, I didn't change anything as far as uh, setting up the bracket for the chat commands. I think I'd have to go into Nightbot to do that or something. I'm not sure. So that might be showing you an old bracket. I'm not 100% positive. But Caper falls into the lava and dies. That's uh, not exactly uh, auspicious for him. More players than 125 FPS, lol. Yeah, I mean, come on. Everyone knows that this is where real team, uh, real Quake is played. Big rocket from Caper to get himself out of there alive. He uses his last rocket to jump up. He'll have to make a run over to the launcher and get, uh, get back. Well, yeah, that Frags tournament, though, I think had maybe slightly higher up players than we have, though. I mean, I think Cypher played in that one. But anyhow, 50-50 for Caper. Finally gets his rockets. The machine gun actually almost pushes... Caper off. Mars is really committing this. He wants the frag back. Here comes the pummel. Manages to evade those rockets well enough. I mean, Caper is uh, pretty fragile at the moment. Things are... He's stabilized, but... Oh, that rocket is huge. Mars down to almost nothing. He is uh, just a wreck at this point. He's got rheumatoid arthritis. One of his feet is, have been amputated. He's just limping around, crawling on his hands and knees, and now he's dead. 4-0 to Caper. I think, uh, oh, Caper? You know, if he had rockets, this would be a lot better of an ambush spot, because he could fire them down at uh, Mars and do a ton of damage. But Mars not going there. Maybe he's seen that move from Caper before. He heard the rocket jump and thought, yeah, I know what you're up to. Then again, maybe just 
Uh, it was happenstance. Who knows? But I'm going to chalk it up to Mars being a smart defensive player who's uh, playing the cards well at this point and trying to minimize his risks. That's how I'm going to spin it. There we go. Uh, if any other streamers want to contradict me, they're welcome to. At any rate. Um, caper down to 100. Gets the frag. Not a lot up on the map for him immediately, and Mars right now could get position on the red armor. In fact, I think he's going to take it. I'm going to head over to Mars, actually. He does take it. Can Caper punish? It sounds like he will punish, unless Mars can time this perfectly. This is a skill I've never figured out how to jump through there at the exact right moment when people are spamming the rockets. But Mars shouldn't engage here. He's got no lightning gun. He does get the mega time, though. So that's good for him. He can uh, play off that a bit. Got about 100-100. Needs that lightning gun if he wants to engage in anything. Red armor is up. Nothing else. I'm guessing Caper's gone down to red. He has. Nothing up for a long time. This is uh, the time for... This is the time for Caper to find Mars again. Mars has to be very wary. He hasn't uh, rushed over to the lightning gun. And he thinks Caper's down below at the red. I think he mistimed it just a bit. Maybe he added 10 more seconds than he should have. But I think he's keeping track of the yellows decently well. So that he'll come over here and get this one. Swing over to the other one. Try to get it also. He'll probably have no clue when the mega is. And I don't know if he heard that red. Don't know. All right. There's a bunch. There are a bunch of emotes in chat. I don't know if that's supposed to spell something or I don't know. But something's being eaten. I gather. All right. Uh, Caper with a lot of LG damage onto Mars. Mars is responding fairly well. Uh, actually, yeah, they're about it. Nah, Mars. Mars is doing about the same as uh, Caper. Thing is, he has no lightning gun ammo anymore, so. Um, there's a call to ban Caper. Caper probably gonna get this frag also. I have to imagine he'll commit. No lightning gun, direct rocket! Oh my gosh, 12 health! Who's gonna do it? And, uh, Caper's been playing MGE. He jumps so that the only way that, uh, Mars could hit him would be a direct rocket. So that was a, a smart move. It's something you see on a lot of MG maps. Caper's reign of terror is over. Ooh, I haven't seen this Capone, in Capone individual. Uh, I, I'm looking forward. That sounds interesting. So, yeah. Things just under three minutes to go, and Mars has 200 health. Things, you know, about even in terms of stack. He needs to armor up, because that health will evaporate if, uh, if Caper gets any kind of damage on him at all. Uh, Caper winning the armor department. Eats a rocket as he comes out. Can I eat a second one? Takes a little bit more splash. Oh, that last rocket from Mars was a bit troublesome. But he gets the frag. Okay, now's the time. He gets red. Mega's not up for a while. He can look around a bit. He needs to get to a little bit more lightning gun ammo. I don't think he's going to rocket jump for it. I think he's going to put priority on the Mega more than anything just to get the big stack that he needs to go on a rampage. So he can just chase and not worry too much about damage. Spots out Caper. Goes for the jump up. Caper hanging around here. He didn't hear the jump or didn't anticipate it. But the damage from Caper is substantial. Um, I'd say Caper and Mars are... Eh, Caper has a slight edge now, and more to the point, Mars doesn't have the ammo to take out. Uh, I think I think Rafa might have slightly too high elo for this game. But uh, we'll see. Hey, if he wants to, that'd be terrific. And here comes Caper. He has the weapon advantage initially. That is a nice direct from uh, Mars on him. Caper turns his back, and Mars is unable to punish him for it. Let's see here. One and a half minutes, four frags to go for Mars. He has got to get this Mega and go for it. He uh, will need more Lightning Gun and Rockets, too, uh, to just go on a continuous run. We'll see. Where is Caper hanging out? He is in this upper corridor. He does make a move. Ah, oh, that movement made him predictable. He probably should have just backed off and ignored that 50, because Mars is going to spam it no matter what. Three frags, a little over a minute. Where the hell is Caper hiding? He is down by the red, and he gets it. He's... Uh, I was going to say, he's going to die, but he's standing by the telly. What's Mars going to do? Mars is weak. I think a pummel might finish him. What's he What's he thinking? He's waiting for the 50 health. Oh my gosh, it's so painful. And the gauntlet comes out, and I think that's going to do it for Caper. Damn, that's, uh, that's a rough one. What is this with Rafa playing Final Fantasy? That's just strange. Lucker says, uh, says Mars, that's, uh, yeah. Let's see, uh, her mal out. I think that means hear, hear badly. Wait, no, what does Mal mean? I hear something again. I don't know. I think her is the verb that means hear. 
Rift Dream. Probably get wrecked by these guys at this point. Yeah, maybe. He would be on a slight ping disadvantage. I don't know, is Rafa living in Illinois again? I don't know. Anyways, first map goes over to Lord Voldy, a.k.a. Caper. So, Caper with the first map win on DM13. And I'm trying to remember, who picked this map? Was this uh, Mars's pick, or was this Voldy, uh, Caper's pick? Now listen here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, right, okay. Yes, yes. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Vote. Uh, I wish I had more opportunities to work on my terribly rusty German. Such a fun language. Mars pick. Okay, that doesn't bode too well then. But we'll see. We've seen crazier things happen. And, uh, yeah, and it was uh, quite close for the majority of it. Let's see what's going to happen on map number two. Mars has got to win two straight maps to knock Caper down to the lower bracket. Uh, I look forward to this. Has Caper lost a map these last two uh, tournaments, Oriano? I wasn't here for the... For number two, I was only here for number three, and I don't think Mar uh, Caper lost any. Players must ready in two seconds. Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> spect. I hope Mars's rockets are a little bit better when the match starts. You know, we haven't seen a Telefrag yet today. They're readied up and good to go, though. E7 to Juno or something. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're off on Caper. He gets the Mega. He should get the Red Armor also, but he's electing to deny the Railgun first, which is smart, because that's one of the few things that Mars can go for when he's stuck on that side of the map. He does a lot of damage, doesn't take much. In fact, I don't think he took any. Hits a Rail, Mars now. I mean, he's basically dead. It's just a question of when the Frag is going to happen right now. Uh, Caper is aware he'll rush over to the Yellow. You'll know it's coming up next. Ah, uh, but Mars is able to snatch it. He knows this green is not worth walking right out there into Caper's railgun sights. Mars is able to get his own railgun. Mega health to Caper. 200, 150. Very strong stack. Hits a rail onto Mars. Knocks him back down to a railable health. And uh, still a patient game. Lots of slow games going today. Another rail. Mars just nothing right now. He is toast. I'm surprised he hasn't died yet, to be frank. But uh, Caper hasn't really encroached on that side of the map much. He does now. Misses his rockets and the rail. This may be a chance for Mars to get away, but there aren't any items really to fall back onto. He hits a nice rail, but he's dead. That was a good shot by... Uh, nice snapshot by Caper. Gets a rocket launcher. The red is too far away, and he can't go for this mega. He'll have the lightning gun. He'll have the rocket. So he's got two big guns. He can't hold his ground here unless he just hits two directs. And in the end, he does. Gives up his life to reduce Caper down to 100-100. If he gets the yellow and doesn't take too much damage, it's not too bad a situation for him. Only two frags a minute and a half in. Nothing uh, ridiculous has happened here. Yellow armor does go to Mars, so he's building himself up just a bit. Caper very late to see him, but nonetheless hits the rail. Uh, taking away quite a bit of Mars' resources. And there's another rail and a third. Boldy's just... Uh, sorry, Mar uh, Caper here is just uh, styling on Mars a little bit. He's feeling it. He, uh, he thinks he's got it. Mars with a sliver of health. Yeah. I think if uh, Caper were to use the taunt, it would kill Mars at that moment. It was uh, that bad. Mars not going to get railed off the spawn here, at least. Let's see what uh, he's up to at this point. He's got the rocket launcher. He'll have a railgun shortly. He's wary of the teleporter in ways that uh, Grenja earlier was not. Using the... Okay. Does hit a rail, but takes another one. Caper able to finish it up with the lightning gun. So, 6-0 for Caper, one-fourth of the way through the game. Not promising, but still, six, frag is, six frags is totally manageable on this map. Caper, though, has a lot of control. That was a good rail to start whittling down Caper's stack. Another rail or two will really seek Mars in a pretty good spot. Gotta get this yellow without taking damage. If he takes damage, that's just, yeah, that, that's terrible. Fourth impressive already for uh, Caper. And Mars, while well, he's de dealing a ton of damage, Caper now railable. Can he hit the clutch shot? He's going for it. He wants it badly. He's not quite able to hit it as yet. And he takes one. That dodge by Caper to just stand next to the Mega because Mars really anticipated he'd get on the Mega immediately. But Mars gets the frag in the end. Where is Caper's spawn? Is it up at red? No, he's going to get the lightning on the health and the red. So, 
Aggressive move by Caper, though, and he has the frag buffer to do it. He just doesn't have the weapons to do it as effectively, but the splash will do it in the end. Caper with the red. I don't know if Mars even could have jumped on the red fast enough to get it for himself, but a, a rough situation just based on form. And nice LG by Caper catches Mars just right. No trouble. Let's see here. Good position from Mars to deal some damage, but he can't hold his ground too much if Caper really commits to walking up these stairs. He'll have to leave. And the railgun off the jump. Just not happening for Mars. Not a chance. Let's see what he's up to off the spawn. He's got a rocket and a rail. He can play defensively, but Caper with the aggressive teleport move and the crater is going to send him back down to zero. That is rough stuff. But what is next? Spams the teleport exit. Make sure that Caper just doesn't come through. Trying to play the rail gun. We can see if he can knock Caper off, but Caper hits the rail. The mega health will improve things for Mars. Caper coming through this teleporter. He's got to be aware of the possibility. He doesn't. Takes a rail, though. Caper's rail gun is uh, pretty strong at the moment. He's definitely hitting his shots. And uh, he has the freedom of the map. This red armor's not up for another 10 seconds. There's no point being up here whatsoever. Me. Oh, I thought he blew himself up now, but... Uh, Caper hit him with the spam through the holes in the uh, platform. And he reads the grenade launcher spawn very well. Misses the rail, but a little bit of splash damage from that grenade knocks Caper off his course. He'll get this mega. The red, I have to imagine, he'll get also. Yeah, Mars is nowhere near it. And if he's smart, he won't come near it. This is a bad situation. But that rail does make uh, Caper a little bit fragile. This is still not a situation. Now he's 20 health. Ah, he's going to say he should pull up machine gun, but he hits the rail. Okay. Gets a frag, he has 100-100, he's stable for the moment. He needs to perpetuate his control, not take big damage, and start uh, working on Caper. No items up for a while, first one will be Mega. Let's hope he knows the timing so that he can uh, position himself accordingly, take it, deal damage, etc. Let's see here, where is Caper hanging out? He is exactly where Mark thinks he is, but he rushes in, the rockets propel him forward. And is that an excellent? It is. That uh, was a brilliant spawn kill right there. And I think at this point, Mars is probably thinking, all times lucky. It's uh, a rough situation. 12 frags. A kill by uh, Mars, a snappy rail out, out of the teleporter. That wasn't uh, too bad at all. And again, 100-100, and he's got the weapons. But he's got to preserve it, and he's got to deal a lot of damage to Caper. That first rail, good. I think he could have been a little more patient with that second one, but... Oh well. Of course, it's easy to say that when he misses and when I'm just some noob. Anyway. Uh, he's really dangerous. A little bit of splash machine gun. Yeah, yeah. Gets taken out. This red armor will go over to his opponent, Caper, but he could get Mega. Nice rail. It looked as if Caper somehow got stuck on the stairs. I don't know what happened there. Some sort of edge clip. I don't know. But bug. Direct rocket right in the face of Mars is going to be pretty dispiriting. Another 12 frag deficit. And the LG out. Caper is weak in the rail. Mars is fired back with some impressive rails of his own. He's no slouch in that department. Missed times the red slightly, but these health bubbles mean it doesn't matter much. Although the positioning is huge. Can Caper punish this? Nope. He does force a rocket jump, which uses up a little bit of health from Mars, which is, you know, noteworthy. Walks right into that direct rocket. That was a good shot by, uh, by Mars. And Caper, honestly, I, I don't know if he didn't hear the rocket because he was... Partway through the door or something? I'm not sure, but it looked a little silly. Well, let's see what Mars can do here. Ten frags in three minutes. You can do that. And this is going to be a kill for him, surely. No, those rockets from Caper are too good. Oh, and the rail to finish him off. Caper is weak as hell, but it's not weak enough, especially with the red. Oh, I thought it was going to be another uh, rocket to rail. It wouldn't, have been a, it wouldn't have been a spawn frag, but still. Now Caper uh, is really feeling it himself. It is best of three, and this is the second map. It looks like Caper is going to win 2-0. I suggested to Oriano a while ago, before he announced this cup, that we should do a best of nine grand final between Ollie and uh, Caper to determine who the, the Quake Live TF2 champion was because Ollie hadn't been in the last couple of cups that Caper won. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know why, Oriano didn't decide to do that. I thought it was a brilliant idea. I mean... You know, at Quake Cons and Dream Hacks and IEMs, you got best of fives. 125 FPS gave you best of sevens. We could distinguish ourselves by giving a best of nine. I thought that would have been dope. But, uh, you know, that's just how it is. Oriano's the mastermind, so he no doubt had good reasons for denying it. But I think it's a pretty boss idea, and we should do it. 
is our winner take all thing. Yeah, that'd be fun. But yeah, the lead is just increasing. I'm sorry if I'm not casting this one super seriously now, but a 14 frag deficit with 100 seconds to go is pretty unattainable, I'm willing to say. I mean, and it just gets bigger and bigger, so. Yeah, Oriana, that's yeah, that true. Warcraft 3 tournaments had best of nine. Also doubt Ollie would show up. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But we'd have to put a big prize on the line, you know? Oh, thank you for following, that's very good of you. I don't know why, but my thing doesn't update me to show uh, when people have followed. Uh, I, I hear the sound, but I've got this little thing up that's supposed to show me the activity, and it doesn't show me the, who's following. So whoever you are, thank you very much. And I, you know, I hope to do more of these cups, and if not, well, I hope something I do on here is interesting. No idea. And thanks somebody else for the follow. Much appreciated. Last minute of the game. 17 frag lead for Caper is quite safe. He will move on. I need to check the brackets, whether he's already in the upper bracket final or if he's in the upper bracket semifinal. But Mars will be sent down to the lower bracket, and I gotta say, the lower bracket... Sometimes one Warcraft game gets 30 minutes long. Ugh, that sounds awful. That sounds terrible. I know a lot of Brood War tournaments were best of seven grand finals. Three hour long grand finals or something. Um, well, Nerd Rage versus Froyo Tech was at least two and a half hours, and that was four maps. Oh, um, freaking uh, the first Rewind Land was a five mapper, so that one would have been easily. Well, actually, they used 30 minute time limit, though, so. Well, it probably would still have been three hours, you know, with time in between. All right, well, Caper takes it over Mars, and uh, there we go.